the weather down there, it's pretty dry um, in the, uh, for the most part. For most of the year, it's pretty dry heat. The sun, if the sun's out, it just bakes. Um, and it's funny because uh, the air doesn't heat up around it at all. So as soon as a cloud passes over the sun, it'll drop maybe five or 10 degrees just immediately. And then once the cloud leaves, then it'll pick right back up. Um, during the winter, it does get kind of cold. Um, I didn't know that before I got there. Uh, but luckily my mom sent out some uh, thermal garments so, and some sweaters and things, and some pajama pants. So that was really useful. Um, uh, you don't need like a big coat or anything, but it was nice to have warm clothes for when I was sleeping or uh, just some thermal garments for when I was working. Um, I brought, f the, for the most part, short sleeve shirts. I brought like seven or eight short sleeve shirts, but I also had about three or four uh, long sleeve shirts just for uh, the winter time and also for district and zone meetings or m uh, general mission meetings. Uh, you want to have a long sleeve shirt and a suit. During the summer months uh, is when it was the rain season. Rainy season started about May or June and went until August or September. Um, generally it was over around August, but um, if you're in really any area in the mission gets hit pretty hard by the rain. Um, I was in the city the first time um, and it was really intense. <laughs> uh, the city doesn't have a very good sewage system. And so the streets, we get flooded sometimes. Um, and while it was raining, it was almost more like a river than, than still water. <laughs> so um, we would have to run through uh, gross sewage water. Um, uh, and so if it's, if it's about to rain, you wanna make sure that you're in someone's house um, before it hits and or at least that you have a really good umbrella and a rain jacket because uh, the rain gets pretty hard. Um, when I was the second time I was uh, in a more rural area and it would just get really really muddy uh, in those areas so I had these little booties <laughs> they were little um, to slip over my shoes. They were little, um, just rain protection, and they were very helpful. They were so useful. Um, so I'd highly recommend those. Um, for our groceries, there there were always these little tiny stores. There were you won't you won't find very many WalMarts or Sam's Clubs down there. There is one Sam's Club, um, but it's pretty far out. So. Don't, don't uh, think you're gonna get there very often. Um, you might like decide to go a P day, like once every six months, or if you're close by, you can go and I mean, if it's close to your area. But for the most part, you won't find Sam's Club um, or a Walmart very close. There was a Walmart in the in Chalco, in the in the very center of the mission, um, so that was nice. Um, but for the most part, you're just going to go to little tiny stores uh, just on the corner. They'll have one called Tres B, uh, or uh, there's another one called Neto. Um, I personally preferred Neto over Tres B every single time. I felt like they were cheaper and that they're, they had more stuff. Um, but I guess to each his own. Um, in addition to that, they always had little tiny, tiny stores uh, on the corner that were just, just a, a, a random guy would just set them up, set it up and sell cookies and chips and drinks and um, like water bottles or like flavored drinks or sodas. Um, or he'd sell like um, just lots of those little things, snacks. Um, Sometimes they would sell bigger stuff, like um, there was always a, pan, a, a bread shop um, around the corner, and um, so that was really, 
really good, a little bakery. Um, and they would have sweet rolls and uh, other little cakes and things as well. Um, oh, if you were looking for a, a really good breakfast, uh, you could always go to the, uh, the guy selling tamales on the street and they would often sell them inside uh, a little loaf of bread. Um, and that was, I thought was really good. Um, in addition to that, they have um, little uh, shops on the corner to sell meats. Um, I didn't go to those very often. If ever I wanted to buy meat, I would get it from um, a Walmart or uh, another area like that. Just get some, they would cut it up right in front of you and get, and get you some good lunch meat. Um, so those were, those were, I felt they were always a little bit safer. Um, my last two transfers of my mission, I was in Chalco, in Valle de Chalco, and uh, there was a Little Caesars they had just built. So we went to Little Caesars almost every Monday. Um, and that was always really good because it was really cheap and we would always have leftovers. The crime there, um, there are lots of little gangs that will run around. You definitely want to make sure that you're home before uh, 9 o'clock in almost any area, especially the ones that don't have very much light, like in Valle de Chalco. Um, and uh, I always carried around a, a 50 peso bill um, if I needed to go somewhere for transportation purposes or if I uh, ever got stood up. Um, there were, uh, there, sometimes people would just come up to you and tell you to give them their stuff. They didn't have a knife, they didn't have a gun all the time. Um, there were a couple times where I never, I never got stood up. I was very protected and I um, went my whole mission without getting robbed once. Um, I had a couple companions and friends in my mission though that would get uh, stood up by uh, guys with knives or a guy with a gun. Um, and they uh, would just have to be really careful, give them whatever they wanted and don't, uh, don't fight them about it. Um, it wasn't very common that it happened, but it did happen. Um, a lot of the common jobs in the area, like I said, there will be people that just set up their own little shop uh, and sell snacks. Um, there were also little, like they were these tiny little office depot places uh, where they would just sell like paper or, or uh, just school supplies basically. Um, there was, uh, there were people that had set up their own little uh, dry cleaner. Uh, there were people that had their own little taco stand, um, their repair shop, um, that sort of thing. They, they would just have little tiny shops on the corner in the middle of the street. They just rented the space and, um, and, sold, and sold their own stuff. Um, inside my mission, uh, or right next to my mission, I guess, was the volcano, El Popocatépetl. Um, you didn't want to, to go up that very often. Uh, I'd heard a couple times of missionaries being robbed um, and losing their cameras, which is really sad. Um, but uh, there were uh, there was one time where we went up with my mission president and the uh, zone leaders and uh, the assistants to the president as well. Um, and we had a really awesome meeting up there. Um, uh, there is also an area, a, a, a little spot, not inside the mission. You'd have to get permission from your president. Um, but there are the pyramids. Uh, they call, it's called Teotihuacan. Um, I highly recommend you go. There's, if you go early in the morning, if you get there around eight or so, uh, eight or nine, uh, there's a, um, there's a, there are always a whole bunch of people giving tours and there's a member down there who gives tours, a Book of Mormon tours, he calls them. 
um, and he gives some insight into the pyramids and how uh, and his his uh, theory about how they were temples and uh, it, was, it was really, really interesting. I, I highly recommend that you go down there. Um, it doesn't cost very much. It's, uh, it, is, it does cost a little. It's about, um, I think for the missionaries, he does a deal and he cuts it maybe in half or so. Um, so definitely go uh, at least once.